It's like the entire complex is sensing our presence and coming to life. This has got to be the control room. This is obviously their version of a DHD. Oh, obviously. This here, we have to go down and take a look. You have to. It took you almost 15 hours to get there. Well, all the more reason we should have a look. We're already here. I should mention that the planet's atmosphere is extremely ionized. Radio communication could be difficult. And it would take at least 15 hours to send out any sort of rescue. We'll be fine. Major? I agree with McKay. Of course you do. How could either of you resist exploring a crashed alien spaceship? Exactly. I assure you our interest is purely professional, Elizabeth. I'm gonna run some power-up simulations first. How about I carry out my plan and you keep the hot coffee coming? Said so, joking again, right? Oh, where were we? You know, I'm not sure that you've sufficiently trained me in actual combat. I, I don't know how much use I'd be in a fight our way out kind of scenario. Well, I look at it this way. You know, I've tried to kidnap you on numerous occasions to mine that big old brain of yours. Yes? Well, if we get into trouble, I'll just trade your life for mine. Oh, funny. Don't worry. If you survive, I'll mount some sort of rescue mission eventually. Talk amongst yourselves. What are you doing? I have an idea. Well, what kind Can't of idea? Talk busy. Not now, please. I just hate it when he does this. What? Hey, don't start. I tried to negotiate with you. Making a list of demands and not giving anything in return is not negotiating. I offered you an entire crop of beans. I don't need beans, I need lumber. Oh, right, to build defensive fortifications for your army, which he doubled in size, by the way. Surprise, surprise. I only did that after you started cheating. I did not cheat. He's giving his people way too much technology for their level of development. I'm not the only one increasing my army, by the way. I had to do something to protect the people of Geldar from you. Geldar? It's the name of Rodney's country, named it after a girl he stalked in college. I did not stalk her. We dated twice. I personally owe you a debt of gratitude for your help defeating the regicidal Janai. I've had one of the court's finest artisans feature you in a rendering of our glorious victory. My bad. Okay, I will trample you. I'll well, trip on your skirt. <laughs> oh, you okay? I could have dropped him. Sorry, we didn't know anyone was around. Sure, right? Come to think of it, what are you doing down here anyway? I'm trying to get Torrin to sleep. Now all I have to do is get him back to my quarters without waking him, or being run over. Yeah, well, we're—I mean, we're done here. We're just, you know, finishing up. Right. Hey. Right. Good one. You okay? Yes, thank you. Sorry, Rodney, I had no way of telling you what was coming. Oh, my eyes? I need my eyes for seeing. Get the ZPM, Rodney. It's a small miracle I can still make out shape. That's all I'm saying. Major! McCary! What do I do now? Keep firing everything you got! Okay, now what? We'll reload! No more bullets! I'm going in. Look, stall Caldwell. Buy me some time, just a few minutes at the most. What if you aren't able to disconnect? Caldwell's gonna blow that ship whether you're in there or not. You see, the thing is, Colonel Shepard and I have sort of gotten into this habit of saving each other's lives, and it's my turn. 